So hi everyone, my name is Kevin Verhoff. I'm one of the general surgery residents at the University of Alberta. And uh, thanks for taking the time on the closing day of stages here to hear about our systematic review and meta-analysis evaluating the outcomes on, of elective colorectal surgery with endocyanine green. I have no relevant disclosures. So very briefly, we all know that an asthmatic leak is one of the most devastating complications following colorectal surgery. It leads to worse oncologic outcomes, significant morbidity, and it still occurs in about 10 to 20 percent of our patient population despite uh, our best efforts, with about 11 percent of those people requiring reoperation. So endocyanine green and near-infrared fluorescent angiography is a cost-effective, safe, and readily available technology that allows us to evaluate the transection ends of our colorectal resections to optimize those anastomoses in terms of perfusion. And as we know, many of the risk factors for anastomotic leak are related to inadequate perfusion. And so this technology we proposed, uh, we, we suspected would decrease uh, complications following colorectal uh, resections. So we completed a systematic review and meta-analysis, uh, including all endocyanine green evaluation for colorectal surgery. And with that, um, uh, evaluated outcomes for endocyanine green versus not. Uh, with that, we had 3,491 papers that we evaluated and 23 non-randomized studies were included in uh, two randomized control trials. And our primary outcome, as you can see, or sorry, uh, our patients, we had uh, 5,949 patients. And importantly, they were uh, well balanced in terms of many of the risk factors for anastomotic leak. So as you can see, diabetes, the height of the anastomosis, neoadjuvant status, and uh, the technique used for uh, the anastomosis creation. And our primary uh, outcome measure was odds of anastomotic leak in that, in that group. And as you can see here, there was a significant reduction with the association of anastomotic leak with endocyanine green use. Uh, subgroup analysis of patients receiving rectal anastomosis showed a imp uh, even more significant effect with an odds ratio of 0.31 when endocyanine green was used. And then further to that, other, sub, or other uh, secondary outcomes that we evaluated, there was a reduced reoperation uh, with endocyanine green, and those are reoperations specifically for anastomotic leak. And then again, there's a, uh, also a decreased length of stay when endocyanine green was used. And so overall, our study shows that leaks remain a major in issue for elective colorectal surgery uh, resections and occur to about 12.3% of populations with reoperations in about 4% of those. And that endocyanine green usage decreased leakage rate to 4.7% with reoperation at about 2%, so a halving of that reoperation. And we suggest that ICG angiography should be strongly considered for all left side anast anastomoses and any anastomosis that is considered at risk for leak. And so uh, I'll open the floor to any questions and go from there.